So we learned about the individual technologies. What's the big picture then? How do these things work together? Now we can differentiate between the front end and the back end if we want to, or client and server. What happens on the client is our front end. What happens on the server side is our back end. And on the client, we use JavaScript or specifically React.js to build an amazing user interface. On the server side, we use Node, Express, and MongoDB. Now we use JavaScript here for the presentation and the user interface. We will build a single page application with it, and I will come back to that later in the course. And on the server side, we have all our server side business logic. We can store data persistently, either in files or in a database. We also implement our authentication logic there, for example. And technically on the server, we even can split Node Express from MongoDB because as you will learn throughout the course, MongoDB will actually also run on its own server, its own machine, but it all happens outside of the browser. So I all consider this to be the backend. Now that of course leaves us with the question how client and server communicate and that will happen with help of requests and responses, HTTP requests and responses, which are exchanged between these two ends. We will send background HTTP requests from inside our React JavaScript app to our server side to our Node Express application and this application will then reply with responses. And we will also exchange data, typically in the JSON format. This is how this will generally work together, this is how this will be connected but we will have an entire theory module where we will take a closer look at this. And then of course we have a huge course project which we built from scratch where we will build all these different areas where we will build the front end and the back end and connect to a database and so on. And there you will of course also see all these things come together.